So this is the general schematic for our live stream setup. This does not show how we connected any of our sound system or any like that, anything like that. Um, but it does show all of the video components, like our GoPro and our uh, Canon camcorder, and then how all of that connected to the Roland switch, and then the Tear Deck, and how that eventually was um, live streamed straight onto the internet. So the first component we're going to show you how we set up was uh, the GoPro, how that was um, plugged into the Roland switch, how, and then we're going to show you how we set up our camera, and how that was plugged into the, into the switch, and then we'll show how the switch then sent all of its sound and video output to the Teradeck, and how the Teradeck then eventually um, broadcasted the HDMI and sound data onto the internet. So this is how to set up the GoPro part of the live stream. Uh, two things have to be plugged into the GoPro. One, the power, which is connected to a power strip, which we then plug into the wall, and an HDMI cord, which then plugs into an HDMI to Ethernet converter, which then connects to an Ethernet cable, which we have connected all the way up to the top of the balcony. So you do not press the record button to start using the GoPro, you press the power button because recording just um, sends the footage straight to the SD card, but pressing the power button sends all the video data straight up into the live stream. This part is from the GoPro downstairs. You plug this into the converter and uh, take a HDMI cable, both large one up one side into the converter and another side to the panel, the input part. Here. So when you're setting up the camera, the way that you power it is by plugging the power wire into the black port, not the yellow port, and then you connect a mini HDMI cord into this port hey, right here, hey, Rob, which you. then connects to the controller. To turn the camera on, you flip the switch from off right here to camera. There are two inputs going into the Roland controller. One input is the HDMI input from the GoPro down the stage, which connects to an HDMI to Ethernet converter. And then that Ethernet cord connects to an Ethernet to HDMI converter. That HDMI cord then goes into here. And then the second HDMI input comes from the camera, which is connected right here, and then also goes into the controller. Just remember that with the display, this is really helpful to know that when we switch, keep your eye on that, if we switch the switch, that red means that that's the hot signal, not the green. Either way, this is connected to the switch, this HDMI cable is connected to the one of the outputs of the switch, to go right in here. Critical is that whoever's doing a live streaming, you need to make sure that you have charged batteries for the back of this. So these ports down here are called the six gang. The microphone is connected to the mic one XLR port on the six gang, which is then connected to the house audio system. So with the, really quickly with the mixing board, there is a plug like this, that's a mono quarter inch, that goes from the mono output back in here, all right? And it leads out, this shouldn't be unplugged, but we found that this was unplugged before we got in here. And this cable goes to the mixer, it goes to the mic input, not the headphone jack, it goes to the mic input. And if we do need to raise the volume a little bit, we'll do it, we'll leave this alone and we'll do the volume off the mixing board. Now, a couple things over here. This is the main audio for the house, right? What these are, are these are all little volume sliders for a whole bunch of different microphones that we can use. For this presentation, for the main presentation, we're just gonna use one microphone and this is connected on what they call the six gang. Downstairs, right behind the podium, on the stage, 
there's one bank of six mic inputs. Right now, that mic is in mic one. Notice that all of these, not only are they all down, except for the first one, they're all muted. So for example, here's the mute button. All of these mic inputs, they're all muted, which is the way we want it for this presentation. So right now, Dave, could you keep talking? Yeah, yeah. Keep talking. Um, and now when I, so now he got muted. Mm -hmm. And now he's back on again. And it's probably not loud enough, so we're gonna raise this up a little bit. But we don't wanna blow the system out. So over here, this has don't pass, and we don't wanna blow the whole audio system out. So we're gonna raise this up a little bit. So what we should consider doing is putting this handle onto the video camera, because what that does, since this has really good XLR mic inputs in it, what it does, as soon as you connect this to this particular camera, it shuts off the ambient microphones that are built into this, and then it, by default, only uses these. So we could go into the settings and tell this not to even send any audio to the switch, or if we connect this handle, then what that does, we'll take this off, we put this on and connect the encoder to the top here. What that'll do is it'll shut off any audio because it's waiting for audio here. And then we won't simply connect anything at all, so it'll be dead quiet. The other thing that this does is when we do have the handle connected, when you zoom in and zoom out, no matter how hard you push them, it's a very slow fade in and slow fade out, which might be easier instead of getting a really jerky motion on the, um, on the video camera. So this is the Teradec. Um, it gets HDMI and um, audio signals from the controller. Both audio and video come from the output section of the controller into the Teradec. So you don't need any additional audio plugged into the Teradec. And then once everything else is turned on, then you turn on the Teradec, and that's how you get the IP address that you use for the live stream. So if you take the bottom menu button and you just toggle up once, that's gonna display the 10.10.11.224. Now that is not a static IP address on this device, static meaning that it doesn't change. This device gets dynamic IP addresses. So this will probably stick for the rest of the week or a day. So every time you have to get that exact IP address, then we're gonna go across the hallway on a school networked computer and open up Chrome and type in that exact address to get into the browser-based interface. Once we get there, the username is admin and temporarily, for now at least, the password is also admin. And then you can go and change all the settings that you want to for this device. Then you plug an ethernet cable into the side of the Teradec, which then runs up and connects into the ethernet port on the wall. We use the top ethernet port, not the bottom. And then that gives us a direct internet connection to the computer in the computer lab, which runs the live stream. Your IP address that will be on Teradex. You'll go to the Cube site and you'll have to put in your login password. After that, once you're set up, you want to go to the broadcast name. You want to go to the bottom, it'll say create new live event. You could just make it called test stream for now. And you could change the description that will show on the YouTube page. Let's check the start time and privacy. You can change it to public and listed. We'll just make it private for now. You create this. And then you will get the page. Now this is where your stream is going to be shown. This is where you can actually go live so you can get the live stream. And once you click go live, this live stream is going to begin. And then you'll get a link right here that says video stream output. And once it's open, when it's finished, so you'll be able to click here. And you'll see the stream right here. Now the next thing you want to do is you want to copy and paste the link for the YouTube the test stream and you're going to put it into a new Rebendly link. So you can just do that here, new Rebendly link, destination URL, you would copy and paste the YouTube link you have. And then you would just change the slash tag with any, anything that is relevant to your event. And if you, have, if you have a new domain, you can use that instead. And then once you create a new link, it's going to be a link that you can send to anyone outside here. So just to review, uh, the video portion of the live stream is set up by first setting up your GoPro and your camera. Uh, you power both of them uh, via a power strip. 
then you take the HDMI from the GoPro, the HDMI cord, uh, and plug it into an HDMI to Ethernet converter. Uh, then you take the Ethernet cord that runs from the converter, and then you plug that into an Ethernet to HDMI converter. And then that HDMI input then goes into one of the input ports on the Roland switch. Uh, the same applies for the camera. The camera is powered via a power strip, which we then plugged into a wall. And the HDMI output from the camera was then plugged into one of the input ports on the switch. It's not shown here, but uh, our sound output came from the house mixing board. So the sound output from the mixing board is then plugged into the mic port on the switch. And then the HDMI output from the switch, the output is then plugged into the Teradek, and the audio output from the switch is also plugged into the Teradek. So the Teradek gets both the HDMI signal from the switch and also the audio signal from the switch. Then the Teradek is plugged into an Ethernet wall outlet via a Ethernet cord, and then that connects the live stream, the Teradek, directly to the computer in the computer lab which was actually running the live stream and the Teradek displays the IP address that you then plug in, or they, that you type in, onto the computer to pull up the Cube Teradek live streaming site, and then that site then directly live streams all your video and audio output data onto the internet via YouTube.